So if you've been diagnosed with a thyroid nodule, which happens either that you feel a lump in your neck, your primary care physician or another physician does, or you had imaging for other reasons and something showed up, it's important to go and get this evaluated further. What's the best way to do that? A thyroid ultrasound. For this part of the body, it is better than any CAT scan, MRI, or any other kind of test. So the ultrasound is very sensitive. And if you have someone like myself or a specialty radiologist or a specialty endocrinologist that really looks at thyroid ultrasounds all the time, we are pretty good at picking up what we think is a cancer and what's not. If we're suspicious about your nodule, we're gonna biopsy it. So this is a small needle that gets inserted without anesthesia um, right into the nodule and we take out little bits of cells where the pathologist can look at them under the microscope. Sometimes we're able to get the diagnosis right then and there. Other times we need to send it off for some extra uh, testing in order to do that. Once we do have the diagnosis of thyroid cancer, we talk about treatment. If you have a very small, about one centimeter or less cancer, sometimes a tiny bit more, and you're of a uh, more mature age, we can talk about doing something called active surveillance, which is when you come see a specialist like myself, making sure it's not growing. And if it grows, then we do surgical treatment like we would normally do. Surgery is the mainstay of treatment for thyroid cancer. So for many patients, that's all the treatment they will need. If your nodule is much bigger than a centimeter and or you have any evidence of lymph nodes in your neck, we go to surgery. For smaller nodules, we are many times able to just take out half of your thyroid and leave you with the other half and do this through a very small minimal access incision. If your nodule is much bigger, if it's a little bit growing into your muscles or you have lymph nodes, then we usually have to take out your entire thyroid with some lymph nodes uh, if they're present. This can be done through a smaller incision, really just depends on how much surgery we are doing. If we take out your whole thyroid, you will go on thyroid hormone after surgery in order to maintain the hormone balance in your body since thyroid hormone is necessary for many of your everyday activities. Many people diagnosed with thyroid cancer are stage one. We actually don't use staging as much as other cancers because so many people are um, do really well. So if you are under the age of 55, the highest you can actually be is stage two. So everybody is stage one under the age of 55, unless you actually have disease in your lung or somewhere else, which is very rare, then you would be a stage two. Once you get over 55, you can be a stage you know, two or three if you have uh, lymph nodes or the cancer is really grown into your muscles. But what we use for thyroid cancer is something called um, the American Thyroid Association Risk Classification, which basically puts everybody into a low, intermediate, or high risk category for a recurrence. Staging talks about survival, and because so many thyroid cancer patients have such excellent survival, the other stratification message for recurrence is much more meaningful for patients. If you don't get diagnosed, you can hypothetically be really lucky and your cancer will grow really, really slowly or not grow. And so we know from autopsy studies that probably about 15% of patients have, that die have little bitty thyroid cancers that we never knew about and never did anything. So you could be one of those, which would be great. But thyroid cancer typically is gonna very slowly grow over time. Obviously there are some patients that it grows a little bit quicker. It generally is not gonna metastasize to the rest of your body, but it can um, grow enough so that it aggravates um, or sometimes even invades important structures in your neck, which can include your airway, um, which is your trachea, your esophagus, which is where the food goes down, or even some of the blood vessels like your carotid artery. Again, very rare, it generally happens over a long course of time, but we have no way of predicting who that's gonna be, which is why it's important to get it treated in the first place. For more advanced thyroid cancer, you may also get something called radioactive iodine therapy after surgery, which is not radiation and not chemotherapy. It's just a pill that you take and makes you a little radioactive for a few days, but it really cleans up and kills all the remaining thyroid cancer cells in your body. And after that, you go on to what we call lifelong survivorship. Just checking in with your endocrinologist, with labs and ultrasounds um, on some form of regular basis, just to make sure that the cancer isn't coming back. But thyroid cancer is very, very treatable and the majority of patients live a nice, long, happy and healthy life.
It is really important to get thyroid cancer treated, but don't let anybody push you that this has to be immediately done the next day. It is usually a very slow growing cancer. And so therefore you have a little bit of time from when you get diagnosed to when you need to do your surgery. So you can, if you have some things planned, you can usually work around it. So you should come and see me because I am a thyroid cancer specialist. I'm a fellowship trained endocrine surgeon, which means all I do is thyroid, parathyroid uh, evaluation and surgery. Um, so I am up to date in what we do for treatment, surveillance, and surgery. Moreover, what makes coming to see me different is I have a one-stop shop in the clinic, which means you can come and see me. I will do your ultrasound there in clinic. I will do your biopsy on the spot if you need it. And you will actually get a diagnosis from pathology on the spot while you're there and we can come up with a treatment plan. So instead of spending many weeks or a couple months going back and forth between different doctors and specialists and radiologists, you'll get it all done in one day. And then we can get you on to your treatment plan pretty quickly thereafter.